So the town square for cornhole or any other activity in life pretty much is now on social media. Uh, web forums and things are a thing of the past, and it's all about Facebook groups. And there's no bigger forum or group than the Addicted to Cornhole Forum on Facebook. I'm sure many of you are members of that, if not all of you. And I enjoy scrolling through there and seeing all the people mad about this and that and asking different questions. There's a lot of helpful information in there. Then there's a lot of just really what I call entertainment on there. But yesterday I saw somebody posted something asking for everyone's favorite bags. As expected, there are hundreds of opinions on which bags are better. And the comments on that post are about what you'd expect. So let's take a look at it. All right. So Trevor Williams asked... Favorite bags, pole, favorite overall bag, carpet, non-carpet, smaller company, et cetera. And as you can imagine, the comments differed wide and far or differed greatly. Uh, right off the top here, this fella, Seth Strange, says Vortex Shelter, BG Wizards, N Nola Rugaroos, more BGs. We've got Ultra Cobra, Tony Smith, one of the big pros out there that just won a big tournament, doubles, turn or doubles uh, championship says the amount of bags I've never seen or heard of is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, we got Black Sheep Baggers, Reynolds, Strive Dolphin, Underworld Slips. Never even heard of those. More BGs. A lot of BGs I'm seeing. Fly Cornhole, which is just made up the road for me. Uh, some stuff there for Fly Cornhole. Contrabands. Fly. We could go through this. I was going to go through and like make a spreadsheet and calculate who recommended what the most, but that would take too long and really not solve any problem or solve anything at all as far as what this guy was asking because i feel like or i pretty much know to be honest with you that cornhole just like any other sport is all about what you're confident with and what you are comfortable with uh if you've watched any of my other videos i like to kayak fish i've played a lot of golf in my life played basketball a lot of different sports and there's no perfect golf club there's no perfect fishing rod or fishing lure fishing reel fishing line it all comes down to one thing, and that is what feels comfortable to you and what gives you confidence. If you turn on the TV and watch the, the ACL broadcast or stream an ACL broadcast or whatever, I'm sure you guys noticed that all these pros, number one, have different throwing styles. Number two, are using wild, wildly different bags. There's guys getting up there into the into the finals of events using you know $60 Reynolds bags, $50 or $60 fire bags, and then the prices go up from there. And you can tell it, the, the equipment, the reason they're using that, sure, yeah, some of them may be sponsored or whatever, but they're obviously comfortable and confident with what's in their hand. And to me, that's what it all comes down to. So yeah, that that posts like that are cool and you can kind of get a bunch of ideas and, and go look at them and things like that. But Man, you don't need a tub full of cornhole bags, I don't think. Just go to a couple events or blind draws and try a bunch of different ones. And what feels comfortable to you, what gives you confidence, is going to be the best bag for you. Uh, you can buy a set of $250 price gouged cornhole scenario bags and hate them. And you can go, like I said, buy a set of used fire bags for 40 bucks, and it's the best thing you've ever thrown, and you just feel comfortable and confident with it. So... Go out there, try a bunch, try before you buy if you can, um, and have fun. Use what's comfortable to you, use what gives you confidence, and you will have success. Don't make your purchases based on these 100-mile-long threads on social media. Appreciate y'all watching.